Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Style Masterclass podcast. I'm your host, Judith Gatton. I am super excited to be here today. We are continuing our holiday soiree. So if you missed episode one in this series, you can go back and check it out. If you don't want to miss any of the amazing episodes or fun we have around here, make sure you hit subscribe, whether you're watching on YouTube or you're listening, wherever you happen to get your podcasts. Let's dive in. So this is our second day of our holiday soiree. Remember, we're in that room with all the other lady bosses. We're all looking fabulous and dressed to the nines. Everyone is being fully themselves. Introverts welcome, extroverts welcome, the people who kind of gravitate in the middle also welcome. Everyone is fully committed to being themselves. They all know, just like I want all of you to know, that you are welcome in this space. <laughs> welcome home, my friend. Let's party together this holiday season. Now, just like I talked about on the last episode, I want to give you some mindset tips for navigating what can be sort of funky for people during the holiday season. And then two, I want to give you a little bit of practical style tips or a style dare that you can take out into the wild and make your own. First, let's talk about the mindset tip for this week. Other people's opinions. Now, I have a whole episode on this from a prior podcast, and I do recommend you go listen to it. But in short, humans are going to say things to you this holiday season. They can't help themselves. You can't help yourself. I think this is the important part we miss sometimes. While we get so disgruntled and dismayed sometimes by the things that other humans say to us, comments on our outfits, on our weight, whether we've had a child yet or not, or whether our fur baby is only going to be our baby, or what happened to that boyfriend or that husband or that money or your business or your job or non-existent versions of these, right? Whatever it may be, humans can't help themselves. And that includes you too. We all say boneheaded things. We all ask some terrible questions sometimes that we have instant regret about. Sometimes we think we're being funny and we're not being funny. We're being hurtful or kind of gross and weird. And ew, why did we say that? Hello, fellow human here too. I recently went to a retreat. And after the retreat, I was talking to my fellow retreat goers and I thought I was being funny and saying something in a social media channel that we were all in. And it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny at all. And it was kind of rude. And what the hell was I thinking? Yeah, fellow human too. And here's the beautiful thing. When I was able to drop into a place of compassion for myself, like, oh, yeah, I say boneheaded things sometimes. And I apologize to the group for having said the boneheaded thing. And then I got some lovely comments back and I wasn't fishing for them. But the beautiful thing that occurred was when I showed up as human and I said, hey, I had this human moment where I said this stupid thing. So sorry. Everyone around me was like, oh, I feel you. Me too. I say the boneheaded things and I often have to apologize for them. And I kind of walk around with my foot in my mouth. Me too. When I dropped into compassion for myself, everyone around me was also able to drop into compassion for me, which was kind of unexpected and awesome, but also compassion for themselves. And it was giving them permission to be human and say boneheaded things too. So this season, as you get maybe irritated with your well-meaning mom or your aunt or your dad or your siblings or your significant other or your well-meaning friend or whoever it may be in your life, who, when it comes down to it, you actually really love them. Maybe you can't stand to be around them or the things that come out of their mouths, but you love them. A great place to remind yourself sometimes is, oh yeah, me too. I say the boneheaded things too. I ask the terrible questions. I have petty jealousies. I am also superhuman, just like this person who I may be a little irritated with right now in this moment. If I can find compassion for me, I can find compassion for them. And the feedback loop of compassion can be really amazing. We don't even have to have a discussion with them and say, hey, that thing you said was hurtful or I don't like when you say blah, blah, blah. Because as much as I love to set a boundary, there's maybe some places that we're not willing to, we're not ready yet. So the alternative sometimes is just to 
find a little wiggle room of compassion for you, for them, for all the humans who say the boneheaded things. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the party. At our holiday soiree, we fully accept people as human and we expect that they might say some boneheaded, well-meaning, unintended, horrible things sometimes because we accepted everyone into this room as fully human. So if you say boneheaded things here, no worries, my friend. Welcome. Welcome to the club where we're all allowed to just be human. Now, here's your practical style thing that I want to offer you for this week ahead. I want you to play with color and print. Now, sometimes during the holiday season, this means things are going to be a little towards the kitschy side of things. And maybe we're going to bust out some novelty prints and <laughs> an ironic ugly sweater that we actually seriously kind of love. I know I went to a vintage store one time for an ugly sweater party and I picked out a sweater and I wore it and a lot of people were like, that is so beautiful. I really love your sweater. And I kind of giggled because the point was for it to be an ugly sweater party and I didn't mean it ironically. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you're going to bust out your non-ironic, ironic, ugly sweaters, and you're going to rock them. Bust out your full kitsch. If you have jewelry that lights up, rock it. Totally embrace it. When else can you kind of run around this way? So run around this way, my friends. Bust out those kitschy, bright light, cheerful, colorful print things that would otherwise make you cringe. That is your dare, <laughs> if you dare. So your glam gal mission, should you choose to accept it this week at our holiday soiree, is to accept the home, <laughs> to accept the humans will say the boneheaded things. And we love them. You too, me too, we too. That's how it works. And to play with busting out those bold colors, those kitschy items, and just enjoy yourself this season. It doesn't always have to be polished or elegant or chic. It could be playful and colorful and kitschy just for the sake of it. All right. I'd love to see what you're up to. Till the next time, Miss J out.